this isn't your average fish and chips, and not just because it's made with raw snapper and plantains. Remember Watson, the IBM supercomputer that won Jeopardy two years ago? Yeah? Well, Watson is a chef now. Uh, we started this project about two years ago. Uh, we wanted to see if uh, computers uh, could uh, be creative, if they could uh, not only reason about the world as it is, but try to create uh, new, new products, things that have never seen before, that have never been seen before, and that are also valuable. This is really a collaboration between the human and the computer. There's that constant interaction uh, with the system. You know, you, you, choose, you choose what you want to make because you have to kind of direct the computer in a certain direction. And then the computer gives you suggestions. It tells you, oh, you chose chicken. Chicken is used a lot in maybe Singaporean cuisine. Do you want to make a Singaporean dish? And then it's going to give you a list of dishes that you find in Singaporean cuisine. Uh, so there's, uh, there's that uh, interaction that happens all the time. Then the system, uh, but what makes the system creative is that it's able also to assess the products that it creates. So once it uh, generates combinations of ingredients, it can tell you what combinations are going to be novel and surprising by comparing them to existing recipes. And it can also predict the pleasantness of the dishes. It can predict how pleasant the dish will smell and taste. When you, when you start combining ingredients, the number of possible combinations grows exponentially. Uh, if you have a recipe with maybe 10 ingredients, it's not rare to have something like a, a trillion or a quadrillion of possible recipes using those 10 types of ingredients. Of course, this is way more than any human could possibly think of, or not even, try, not even to mention try. What makes cognitive computing different is that uh, the computers are able uh, to, to learn new things and reason about the world as it is and also now we see uh, that they're able to create new products that have never been seen before. We have a lot of ideas about what we could do with this technology. Uh, we're here at South by Southwest precisely to learn what people expect from a cognitive system, from cognitive computing and figure out then uh, what we can do next to help them in their daily lives. <laughs>